a new fresh day to discover what's going on. <laughs> Finally. Lily's such a morning person. I wonder where she gets that from. Elaine's back in the bureau. Well, that was fast. <laughs> really? She isn't completely out of the woods yet, but still, there's another potential suspect in the brain. That's kind of a relief. Let's head to the bureau later. Who's the other potential suspect? It's the one that visited him. Was that guy Keith the only person to visit the professor's lab between midnight last night and eight the next morning? Yeah, that's why things are looking up for Elaine. Lily, where is this guy right now? Where should I start my investigation today? <laughs> There's a choice? I don't really know. I would have to review. For some reason, Keith and her are connected? In the menu, but why? It's just getting crazier and crazier with the <laughs> connections. Like, it's just gonna be chaos going to the judgment room. No? No? I'm just waiting for my results. Of what? You had your physical today, right? No problems? I'm fine. Liar! He's been skipping his meds lately, and that's giving him headaches. <sighs> no, you've He won't answer anything. No. Can you tell me a little about that experiment that took place three years ago? I wanted to stop it, but he wouldn't listen to anything I said. What happened to him? He used to be so kind. It was all an act. He just wanted to use us. Maya believed in him. Right up until the end. You're always picking up interference from AD, aren't you? After all, AD is built on your ability. Oh. No. It's based on my mom's ability. She could see the same things as I do. Oh. Anyway, you should take your meds. You'll soon feel better. I'm looking for something in AD. I don't have much time left. I'm sorry about yesterday, but don't go crazy with Lily while I'm gone. Well, good luck with the case. Okay. Normal as ever. You should try talking to that shady traveler guy at the hotel. A hotel? I guess this one. Let's call him via the terminal. <laughs> what are you doing there? Keith had to be in the hotel somewhere. But 
first. Louder, please. She's miles away. She hasn't even noticed me. Is that not the indicator we can go to AD? Yeah, okay. Now it's more clear. Okay. At... But at least I helped someone in AD. Help! There's a shady old man! Yeah, scream more. for me <laughs> you're um excuse me sir I'm Ugh. mister you look super shocked maybe he's freaked out because I'm from the bureau my ID is public feel free to check it if you want it's the hand okay let me introduce myself properly. I'm Hal Sion, a supervisor. So it's actually him. You're Keith Tozaki, a traveler from the East, right? Oh, nice to uh, meet you. Interesting. I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Just take a seat over there and wait, okay? Huh? I guess I should just do what he says. I tell you, they couldn't make a decent cup of tea in this place if their lives depended on it. <gasps> Smells like black tea to me! Oh? You've got quite the nose on you, short stuff. Hey! I'm not short! So rude, mister! Anyway, you can really tell what kind of tea this is? You bet! Pretty cool, right? How's a big tea drinker too? So my sensors are getting pretty good these days! So, you're a tea drinker. Oh my god, <laughs> where is this guy in? Why? Is there something wrong with that? I don't meet many other connoisseurs these days. Organic tea leaves are hard to find after all. Pretty big coincidence, don't you think? I figure it's time for a tea break. You two can come and join me. He seems so unfazed now. He doesn't even seem overly bothered that I'm a supervisor. What was the deal with him freaking out at the start? Ouch! This is still too hot to drink. Mister, I don't get you. You're a big tea fan, but you can't handle hot drinks? It's not as if you'd know anything about it, short stuff. Why did you come to the city? Straight in with the questioning, huh? And after I made you such a delicious cup of tea. We don't usually get a lot of visitors. Traveling is dangerous, and it's not easy to get an entry permit. I don't really know what the current situation is, to be honest. I've been on the road since long before the disaster. I've got contacts all over the place. Never had any problems getting in anywhere. Spinning menus, I just noticed. Everyone's just hunkered down in the dome, right? Thankfully, there are people like me, donning our protective gear and braving the great outdoors. Oh. Ah, you asked me what I'm doing here, right? I came here to see Albert. I wanted to talk to him about the experiments that were going on here in the city. Say, champ, you were part of that experiment that took place three years ago, right? How do you know about that? You bury and stick out, that's a fact. 
I didn't get a chance to speak to the prof, but seeing as I got to meet you, I'd love to hear about that accident from three years back. That has nothing to do with the incident involving the professor. I beg to differ. Nothing to do with it. You sure about that, champ? Look, I'm here as part of my investigation into the professor's murder. Exactly. So it has everything to do with the investigation. <sighs> what do you mean? Cal, you're such a weak investigator. Hey, I'm asking you, champ. <sighs> right, how about this? You tell me what you know about the experiment. And I'll answer all your questions. Sound like a fair exchange? Okay. If you answer my questions, then I'll tell you what I remember. Great. We've got ourselves a deal. I'll start my questioning. Lily, make sure you record this. Leave it to me, mister! Were you the professor's friend? Yeah. The prof and I went way back. Hadn't seen each other for a while, though. I used to investigate archaeological sites and analyze old relics for him. You were in the professor's lab at 8, correct? Uh, I got here late at night, the day before yesterday. I'd arranged to meet the prof at 8. So I arrived at his place about five minutes early. But seriously, people are pretty careless here. The front door wasn't even locked. Uh, the terminal was destroyed though. There isn't even any petty crime in the city. Nobody bothers locking their doors. Why did you visit the professor? Just to see how he was getting on these days. We hadn't met for a while. And I just happened to be in the neighborhood, you know? Uh... Organic tea leaves are pretty hard to come by in this part of the world, aren't they? For sure. Completely different aromas to the factory-grown stuff, right? But, yeah. Someone gave it to me. Wait. We found tea... ...in the Albert's place. Tell me what happened at the professor's house yesterday. I mean, there isn't much to tell. I got there a few minutes before we'd arranged to meet, but there was no sign of the old guy. So, I waited out in the hall until our appointment. Uh, no. Does the door to the lab automatically open at 8 or something? Anyways, I was sitting just outside the lab and the door unlocked right on time. I figured Albert was inside, so I called out and opened the door. What state was the room in at the time? Had it been ransacked? No one was inside, and the place was untouched. Take a look at this. We think the professor died between midnight and eight. The only person who came to the lab during that time was you. Really? And that's why I'm a suspect. But... Hello, the dialogue. No, that's impossible. The bloodstains at the scene are almost concrete proof. The murder took place in the lab itself. You can stage it. Hmm. Judging by the way this conversation is going, you think I'm the one who killed him, right? But you haven't even found the body, right? You're getting ahead of yourself. I hate to admit it, but he's right. Listen, champ, if there's one thing that getting older has taught me, it's the importance of keeping a cool head. <sighs> this doesn't change the fact that he's the most suspicious person we've met. But if he was the culprit, surely he'd have been better off just leaving the city right after killing the professor. Well, Martha is a suspect as well. Or maybe he couldn't leave for some... Ah, uh, would you look at that? My tea's gone cold. Wait a sec. 